Hello everyone! In this video, I'm gonna talk about my Japanese thrift shop haul. I started thrifting last 2016 and made some of my best purchases whenever I go by at our local Japanese surplus shops. If you live in Zamboanga City, you can go to Mega Galaxy Trading Something if you wish to buy plates or other things that you fancy buying. They have an active Facebook page if you want to check them out. Now let's start! First on the list is my Suzuki Melodeon MX27. It's a pianica or melodica or a piano pipe something. It's a 27 keys melodica and it cost my mom 250 pesos. It's really cheap because these two keys won't work. So I opened it and found a YouTube video that solves that problem. It comes with a pipe but it's dirty so we look for other things that can blow air. Now for item number two. It's a shogi game pieces! Shogi is a Japanese chess board game that requires skills and critical thinking. I bought them because they look cool and I told myself I'd learn the game but it's been a year. But look how cool they are and you can really see the craftsmanship. I bought these along with other things so I don't know the exact amount. Maybe it was around 10 pesos or less. Next is... This one, a paper shogun armor! And Kuronekachi! This one's 10 pesos, and this one is also 10 pesos. Now for the cat. I just drew on it using a white gel pen roll, and it still hasn't faded. Now for another impulse buy. A shogun portrait! Uh, that's it, a shogun portrait for decoration aka another weird object in my room. Next up is my treasures. Me pins! Now for the reason why I made this video is to show you this. Chanan! An old Japanese book that my parents think it's curse or something. Well, I think it's cool. I bought this last 3 years ago for only 20 pesos. It has a leather cover and the inside is covered with gold paper. This is the first page. And this is the last page. You can see there's a damage here, here, and here. The paper used is oxidized through the years and I think it was soaked in water. But the prints didn't fade! Google told me that they used washi paper or Japanese paper that lasts long and it's good for archiving manuscripts. I really want to translate this and know the knowledge it holds, but I'm not good in Japanese and I don't trust myself with Google Translate or trust Google Translate. If you want to solve this mystery with me, you can comment down below or contact me if you want to see more detailed pages. Now, let's get ready for more paperwork! Me cute stationaries! Surprise! Let me show you my notebooks. 
Here is my B5 pink binder. This is a loose leaf binder for 26 holes loose leaf paper. Now for the big boy. My A4 loose leaf binder. I just decorated it with wrapping paper I bought not from the thrift shop. You might not believe me, but I even thrifted the loose leaf itself. It's a Kokoyo loose leaf refills. When I saw them, I immediately got all that they have in stock, hoping it'll ma last me till senior year. Last is another A4 binder by Lahit Lab. This one only has two rings, so I just used them to store my previous notes. These two A4 binders only cost me 70 pesos, and when I went to NBS, they cost around 400 to 500 pesos. Now for the accessories!